Minister, um, it's great to see you back and looking so fit. Um, we're delighted to provide this uh, extra funding, builds on our previous support to Fiji. And can I say that our um, current tranche of money is a further sign of or vote of confidence in your management, not only of the economy, but of this uh, dreadful COVID pandemic. Um, we know it will be put to good use, and that's why we're so delighted to provide it. Can I also say, uh, given the current situation in Fiji, once again, um, uh, can I say how well you are managing the current outbreak? Again, like you had in 2020, you've moved decisively, you've made, moved strongly, and you've made the tough decisions quickly. And I'm confident that if Fijians listen to the advice being provided by Dr Fong and others, Fiji will get this uh, current outbreak out of control in the same way that they did um, last year. So thank you, um, AG, for making yourself available this morning at such short notice. And um, I wish you the best of luck in coming days. Good to see you also, um, and members of your team. Um, I, I just, I'll be very brief, um, and, but suffice to say that uh, we're absolutely delighted in this uh, support. Uh, it's a very timely support. Uh, this Australian $35 million uh, for direct budget support was uh, not budgeted for in this financial year. But as you can imagine that the uh, impact of the past couple of weeks has had an enormous impact on government's ability to uh, cater for the revenue it had already, uh, you know, uh, factored into the budget. So it is very timely. We'd like to thank you for that. This, of course, is in, in um, on top of the earlier agreement that we signed in December of 2020 for the Australian $22.5 million, which is about Fijian $35.6 million. So together with the, the two supports that we've got, direct budget support, we're receiving about $91, Fijian, uh, $91 million Fijian. Uh, just for the information of everybody, this is of course part of the overall uh, government reforms that have taken place that we've been working with the Australian New Zealand governments and also with the uh, multilateral um, donor uh, partners, uh, for example World Bank and also ADB in respect of the enormous uh, strides we've made in uh, the changes to the financial management uh, uh, laws, the regulations, our uh, medium to uh, medium term uh, debt strategy that we put in place, which is obviously very critical, and also to be able to uh, gender mainstream uh, into not just only our budgetary processes, but obviously in terms of our uh, overall administrative processes. And uh, we'd like to um, uh, thank the support that has also been provided by the Australian government, for example, the uh, PPP uh, that we've uh, worked through with IFC in respect of the Lotoka and Bar Hospitals. We look forward to the um, practical uh, implementation of that through Aspen Hospital in the next few months. And also for the information of the general Fijian public, the, uh, the social welfare support, the certain $20 million provided, was actually went towards the, the poverty benefit scheme, the Care and Protection Allowance and Disability Allowance. So there's some specific targeted budget allocation that we've implemented this uh, financing from. Uh, and four. Um, so, uh, Your Excellency, we, we look forward to your further uh, uh, collaboration with us and we'd like to thank you for your support in the words of encouragement and, um, and you know, we, we want to be uh, good partners uh, with Australia, of course, and we'd like to thank you uh, overall for the uh, enormous level of uh, personal uh, commitment that you've shown and, of course, to the Australian government and Australian people. Nothing. Thank you.